Welcome to another edition of uh, Onside SA, and uh, we've got a winner. The, the competition budge has been won. Yeah, Paul, uh, Brett Galley, Joburg boy. Uh, how he won it, I'll never know, Paul. No disrespect to his Tottenham pick, but looking at it, you thought Liverpool would beat Bournemouth, especially after they thrashed United. And man, I thought man, man United, you know, Mark Fulhoun. Yeah, Mark Fulhoun, uh, that, that sending off didn't yeah, help. And man. Brighton, Paul, they were always ahead and conceded late on. So, but yeah. well done to Brett, Paul. Okay, Kelly Potts, Andrew from Boston, yeah. Phineas Loker. Uh, who's this other one? Mark Fulhoun and Fulhoun. Jordan Story. Yeah, Jordan, yeah. Shame. Yeah. Shame, they all went to the last hurdle. But well done to Brett Galley, he's the winner. Liverpool supporter. Unfortunately, Paul will be going to Anfield. He's looking at the Man United uh, Liverpool game. So good, good uh, let's game. see what happens. Good game. Right, week one of the new one. Again, a bit of a train smash, oh, but Paul, you know, four competitions this season. Liverpool have kicked off at lunchtime three times. Every time they haven't won. Okay, so, well, there's lunchtime a kick has been a the, bit of a The problem. Man United took 183, yeah. uh, Liverpool 119, Brighton 24, Brentford 20, West Ham 10, Leeds 4, Aston Villa 3, Leicester City 1. The ones to go through, Tottenham, Man City, and they were 78th minute. Yeah. Uh, Newcastle, Chelsea, Arsenal, and Everton. Right, pick of the round, Melly Sewell. Everton, Paul, he was... What a great pick, eh? Well, he was a little bit late because he had to go to a funeral. I got a hold of him, he said, Budge, you apologise. He said, my picks are coming right now. And mm -hmm. Everton, I looked, I, you know, I don't argue yeah, with I people. I thought, she's going back to the Paul, funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, he's had two of the best three picks we've ever had. Remember, he found yeah. Norwich. How does this guy, Melly Sewell, the drummer, find these things? Well, well done, Melly. Yeah. It doesn't mean you're going to win, but well done. <laughs> great choice. Uh, performance around one, Tay Statler, four winners. He had four picks, Paul, four different winners. That's excellent. So, uh, good start from Tay. 29 ladies entered, yeah. 21 went through. Yeah, Paul, I was going to mention them, but yeah, the ladies are getting very shrewd, you know, so it's yeah. not, normally we only mention a few of them, but uh, whoever goes through this round. Do you think the ladies are getting mentative to them? No chance. No chance. Let's give special mention, Budge. Yeah. Tony Cass, yeah. Colin Gordon, Woolavis, yeah. we're good men. Trevor Free, Big Trev, Dale Otto, the Pine Town man, yeah. and Louis Pereira, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he's one of Portuguese boy. Paul, those guys haven't been through round one for ages, and the harder they try, unfortunately, they just seem to pick the lemon. How does Stevie B go? No, no, Baba, shame. Well, Liverpool, he put his book on Colours? Liverpool. All the stiffies were on Liverpool, Paul, so... <laughs> let's, I, let's, let's try to get Steve on the line. I don't know if he hasn't... Uh, I don't, <laughs> I don't know if he's out. talking to us. <laughs> Steve, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, was there a competition? Did I miss something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i got to ask, go and ask Mark. He had two picks. He went through on both, but... Uh, yeah, he, he knows not to use Liverpool. Yeah, he knows what to use Liverpool, correct. Steve, uh, Champions League, obviously, uh, last 16, some great games. Man City yeah. 7, RB Leipzig, no. I mean, fantastic. I mean, they had a little bit of, I guess, a little bit of good fortune with uh, some VAR, but, but, but ultimately they were, they were just unplayable in the second half. Leipzig, well, they sort of gave up a bit like United did, but uh, I mean, Haaland's performance, I mean, you know, every one of his goals, he was just there. Yeah, uh, right he, 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 And he sort of, uh, it was interesting seeing him being interviewed afterwards because they were saying, uh, didn't Pep realise that if you'd stayed on, you might have broken the because he equaled uh, Messi's record of five in a game. Uh, so he was, uh, you know, saying that he had a bit of a go at Pep for taking him off early. But uh, you know, it was an incredible performance, and uh, thank goodness because obviously with two English clubs going out, we only just got the two out out of the eight. And, and surprisingly, for the first time in many years, we've got three Italian teams through to the last day. Yeah. Uh, Steve, one quick question. I read somewhere that Holland had a go at one of the pundits. One of the pundits? How come? Like Carragher. Uh, uh, what do you mean Carragher? Carragher or, or, or Neville or, or, or I don't know. I just saw a headline, Holland has a go at one oh, of the... Oh, yeah. No, it was, it was, uh, it was quite jokey. Oh, uh, oh. So that no, was it was fine. So no, it was a good performance, and and you know I think uh, you can see why a lot of the bookies have got uh, City as favourites to win the competition. Yeah, I saw sixteen at ten, Steve. But, uh, yeah, fair price. You never fair know price, who they're yeah. going to get. They always but, seem uh, to stumble. They always seem to stumble. You're right. But I think this could be the year, especially with him up front. I just worry about their back four, seeing Nathan Aki and yeah. Stones as fullbacks, but. Uh, 
Hard to beat Man City. Now, the other game I watched, once the first goal went, I watched Porto into Milan. What a terrible game. Yeah. Porto, a little bit unlucky at the bar, hit the bar twice in the last couple of minutes, but into Milan went through. I didn't watch the Napoli game because I was flicking between the Premiership, but Real Madrid won Liverpool nil, Steve. Yeah, you know, it's just a pity yeah, they were three goals clear. You know, if they'd been one or, yeah. one or two goals clear, I think it would have been a, maybe more, I don't know what, uh, like a closer yeah, game. But I mean, Liverpool needed an early goal and, and they huffed and puffed, but ultimately yeah. it, it wasn't that good a game. But, you know, a lot of, lot of uh, misplaced passes by both teams yeah. and uh, in the end, the result was probably just about fair. Um, you know, as the game wore on, it was obvious Liverpool weren't going weren't gonna to sort of uh, bridge that gap of the three goals and so it sort of petered out a little bit. Yeah, well, the goalkeepers uh, both played well. The first game, they both had nightmares yeah, yeah. and uh, some good saves, especially by Allison. Steve, on to the Premiership last night. Uh, Brighton won, Palace nil. I watched the first few minutes. Palace should have been ahead. Then the little guy that plays up front is he South Korean, Japanese? Is it? Uh, Japanese K guy. Katana. Jeez, he's a nice player. Good Mitoma. ball. Mitoma. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, we didn't have those games. I just saw some oh, highlights okay. uh, late yesterday, but. Uh, you know, they, I mean, Palace. The, the, their problem at the moment is scoring goals, yeah. and yeah. Uh, you know they needed they needed to score and they had chances. And Brighton, you know, got an early goal, and and, and that was enough. Yeah. Uh, Southampton nil, Brentford two. Yeah. I watched a bit of that as well. Southampton were woeful. After watching them against United, I thought they'd have a little bit of a spark, but you know, Brentford. For me, it always looked like sneaking the victory. Did you see the highlights? Uh, yeah, just 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 brief highlights. And I was surprised. I thought Southampton, um, especially after that point at Old Trafford, would give them a better game. But yeah. you know, looking at the highlights, looking at the stats, uh, Brentford uh, thoroughly deserved to win it. Yeah. And it and Southampton are in trouble because they had the opportunity to get out of that bottom three, and now you know they've used up a game, still bottom, with Tottenham coming at home at the weekend. So yeah. you, you can see that South. You can see why the the, the bookies have got Southampton as uh, one of the odds on teams to go down. Yeah, they're in serious trouble. Not yeah. impressed with their performance. And with Tottenham coming up, yeah. they're going to be in even more trouble. Steve, Europa League, uh, Man United tonight. They'll go through. 4-1 <clears throat> up. Uh, I'm going to have a few ran on Batiste. I didn't think it was a 4-1 game, even though the last 20 minutes no. United ran right. And I watched them on Sunday against Villarreal. I was all over Villarreal. But they played real Batiste. They'll be... I don't see United winning tonight. Hopefully I'm wrong. But do you think he'll play a strong, his best team again? I think, well, I, I think he'll play. Well, he's got one or two injuries. Yeah. I think uh, Casemiro will, will certainly play, play yeah. because he's out uh, for four games. And he's, he's, the way he was talking, Fernandes will play. I, I think he'll play a strongish team. But I think, I think they, I wouldn't be at all surprised if they lose, but they'll go through. Because yeah. I don't think Batiste will make up the three goals. Um, I mean, Anthony hasn't travelled. He's injured. Uh, Ganacho uh, is, is out for a few weeks, so um, whether he'll want to risk Rashford, um, you know, with with cup, cup and league games coming up, I don't know. But um, so he's got he's got a bit of a selection problem. But as I say, he's got a reasonable squad, and I think if they were going there with a one goal lead, I think he would be forced to play his strongest available side. But yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he just mixes and matches a little bit. Yeah, I think this is going to be a difficult game regardless. They can, they score early, the game's going to be on. Yeah? Uh, Arsenal Sporting, I know he's going to rotate. You know, what's the uh, last season? Because it was an early kickoff. I think Arsenal will be too good, whatever team he picks out. I think so. Sporting gave them a good game, but uh, but I think he will he will rest one or two because they play in the league on Sunday, and, and, and for them that is definitely priority. Yeah. So uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised if he rests. But you know, with Jesus back, uh, you know he might decide to throw him in, and uh, you know might sort of rest Odegaard. I mean, he, he's got a few options. I, I think that um, he might sort of have a few, a few of the big names on the bench and bring them on if he needs to. Yeah, that would be the wisest thing. And uh, West Ham should go through. They beat the Cypriot sure. Cyprus yeah. team last week. And, yeah, there's uh, no reason why he can't play a strong side. They don't play um, at the weekend. And then there's the international break. I, I think, you know, it, it's, he needs he needs to, his players to start winning. Um, and I think that uh, he'll play a relatively strong side and they should go through comfortably. Yeah, it was the international week after this weekend. So uh, it'll be two weeks for most of the teams. Anyway, Steve, on to the Premiership for the weekend. And we kick off on Friday. Big game for, obviously, top 
top uh, top four and relegation column. Notts Forest unbeaten in their nine, the last nine home league games against a Newcastle team who I thought were fairly fortunate uh, on Sunday when they, they won 2-1. They sneaked in late. You know, I thought Wolves played well, but uh, good result. How do you see this one going? Yeah, I mean, it's strange. If you look at Forest, as you say, unbeaten in nine at home, yet awful away. Yeah. Uh, um, you just think, you know, why, why is there a... Why are they? Th- it's such a differential between the the performances. Um, yeah, I think you're right. New Wolves d- are playing well at the moment, and I think they were a little bit unfortunate not to get something at Newcastle. But uh, I, I've got a feeling Newcastle might just come good here. You know, they they, they want to get try and get that fourth place. They need a win because obviously Tottenham uh, have, have just sort of got themselves uh, in that position at the moment. Yeah. Um, Forest Forest are still far too close to the bottom three for comfort so for me I think if there was to be a winner I'd probably plump for Newcastle but you could see Forrest holding them they've got injuries they've still got a lot of players out Forrest um, so you know I think that that could still hurt them yeah I think there'd be goals in this game but uh, I agree I think uh, Newcastle the draw Steve I'm all over Aston Villa I know Bournemouth were unlucky when they got beat uh, 3-2 at Arsenal and they beat Liverpool I thought Liverpool were woeful you know, Aston Villa at home, always hard to beat. And I think Aston Villa are good things here, Steve. How do you see it? Yeah, I, I do. I think they're having a, a decent run. I mean, I know they, they obviously did lose at home to Arsenal not that long ago, but, but Umay Emery has got them playing quite well. And uh, by all accounts, they were, you know, they were quite good value for their points at West Ham last week. I think they, they should definitely start as favourites. Bournemouth, uh, you know, will want to get something out of the game, but I think Philip, you know, especially with uh, Ollie Watkins with his scoring boots on, yeah. might uh, might just be a little bit too strong for them. Yeah, I agree. Brentford Leicester, good result for Brentford last night. I don't know what to make from Leicester. You know, they fought hard against Chelsea, but Chelsea could have scored six or seven. And in fairness to Leicester, so could they. This is a big game for them, Steve. They're slowly drifting into that uh, relegation zone. They are. I mean, having sort of, you know, you think it was only a few weeks ago they had that big win over Tottenham and yeah. uh, they've lost their last four in a row in the league. Uh, I, I fancy Leicester to get something here. I'm not so. I just got a feeling that uh, they will do. But Brentford have surprised me. That was uh, having sort of lost the, the weekend. That was. I just thought that Southampton might get something last night. Yeah. It was uh, Brentford were definitely the better team. I, I can see I can see them uh, cancelling each other out, but I, I'm not sure Leicester have got enough to win at Brentford. They're making themselves hard to beat. And that's nice pitch. Brentford will win at home. You know, the eighth in the log. It's a pokey track. They, 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 I don't know if they, they, they like to spread it to Barnes and, yeah. and the people down the flanks. You can't do that here. You yeah. cannot do that here. This is a Brentford a tailor-made to hold anybody at this little pokey ground. I'm all over Brentford at even money. All over Brentford. Now, the team that I'm all over this weekend is Tottenham. You know, I know uh, Paul's uh, top four hopes are back online. Really disappointed in Southampton. I thought they could have gone for it against Man United as well, Steve. You know, that point obviously is a good point, but they had United there. I thought it, I know it's away from home. I would have gone for it. You know, they they sat the extra man at, at the back. I thought that was two points dropped. I know it's at Old Trafford, so people will disagree with me. If they give Kane and, and, and Son and the guys chances, they're going to get well beat here, Steve. If Tottenham score early, I think this is a landslide. What do you Eight think? Well, look, th- th- you know, this is this is a game that Tottenham have got to look to win because mm-hmm. you know the opportunity of, of other, not everybody else is playing. You know, they could uh, pull themselves up. In fact, if they win, they go into uh, third place. I think on points. So with United not playing, you know, uh, Southampton, their home record is the is the worst in the Premier League. So you know, everything everything sort of points towards an away win. But you know, you don't know with Tottenham. And Paul knows better than the better than us. You know, Tottenham can be inconsistent. But I think if they hit their straps early, mm. Harry Kane gets scores. I think that they they should win by by at least a couple. Yeah, I just think that uh, midweek game from Southampton would have taken an edge off them where Spurs will go in there, expect a quick fire, 20-minute start, sneak one, and I think they'll win comfortably. On to the second... There's no early game on Saturday. There's a Friday game. There's a Friday game, yeah. 
Okay, so not not as not Friday for night. us as a Friday night game. Then, yeah. then these are all five o'clock kickoffs. Yep, and then and you've got the FA late... Cup as okay, well coming later. I'm, I'm up. I'm with you. Steve Wolves Leeds. Ooh, you know, okay. Leeds, you know, and there's Javi Garcia. They've been competitive even when they lost to you in the cup and they lost elsewhere. They've been competitive. This isn't a, an easy game, I think, for Wolves. I know Wolves are playing well, and they you know, the second half they always seem to get strong, but yeah, for me, I just I think Leeds this has got draw written all over, over it. it yeah. How do you see it? Yeah, I, I think you're right. They are competitive, but they're finding it hard to, to win. And they, yeah. you know, got a late goal for their only win against Southampton. But I like Wolves. I think, you know, I watched them uh, at Fulham a couple of weeks ago, and yeah. I was very impressed with their first half performance. And I was impressed with the way they played it at times at Newcastle. Scoring goals has been their problem, but I think if they do score first, I think that they'll beat Leeds. And I, I fancy Wolves to uh, to win that, and, and Leeds uh, will, will stay in trouble. Yeah, and you look at the form, Leeds have two points from the last seven away games, and Wolves yeah. are 1-3 yeah. and lost one. The only problem with that was, it was Bournemouth at home. Yeah. So uh, Leeds are a Grand Prix team, so uh, it's got a funny Grand feeling Prix. it'll be tight, and if Banford's got his boots on, Leeds have got a chance. If not, I agree. But I think that 22-10 to 10 that draws the game. Steve, are Chelsea back? I watched 10 minutes of the second half last week. Leicester could have scored three goals, but in fairness yes, to Chelsea, yeah. they could have scored three as well. I think four to ten is short. Short. Sure. Everton defend well. Yeah, I think you're right. Look, they had a good week. You know, they won three games in a row in league and, uh, and in the Champions League, and that's uh, taken some pressure off Graham Potter. And you look at the players he's got, you know, he's got available. You know, they should be beating uh, the likes of uh, Leicester and. Uh, so I, I think they'll start as favourites. I think Sean Dyche is going to go there. Uh, at the moment, obviously, since Sean Dyche has gone there, they've won. They've won three at home, uh, all by one nil. It's, yeah. it's a way where they're struggling, and I think that uh, I wouldn't be at all surprised they'll go there and they'll, they'll put ten men behind the ball yeah. and they'll try and uh, get a low yeah. score draw. But I fancy Chelsea just to edge that. Yeah, I think there'll be goals in that game, Steve. At Everton, three games under Dash. They drew at Forest, they should have won that. Yeah. And they lost at Liverpool. Remember, they, they could have gone 1 0 up, but they hit the That's post and Liverpool scored. scored yes. And then they got outclassed at Arsenal. So, uh, yeah. you know, I think they'll score. Even money to score Everton. I, I'm all over that bit. I think they'll score. They and last scored. but not least, Steve, Arsenal Palace. I think this is a 3 4 0 game. Palace, shame, can't score. Yeah, maybe this is a game that changes, but. I'm all over Arsenal here, Steve. Yeah, I mean, last, se last season, Palace uh, gave Arsenal a couple of really hard games. Uh, and I know, I think in the home game, uh, Arsenal just got away with a 2-2 draw. I think Palace could, could score. I think uh, Vieira's getting a bit frustrated with, with, with them. But, you know, the way Arsenal play, and obviously I saw them close up last week, you know, they, they move the ball well. They've got, they've got pretty much their entire squad. Uh, back from injury, I, I would be very surprised if they don't win comfortably. And uh, and you know it's a huge game for them because they can they can open up an eight point gap over City. Yeah, totally agree. I think Arsenal's certainties. On to the FA Cup, Steve. I know we're the big game of the round, but uh, Vincent Company, whose team have only lost three games this season, travelled to his old club, Man City. I doubt there'll be an upset here, Steve. But how do you see Burnley going there? Well, I think I think they should. There's no question. They, they he should be playing their strongest available side. They don't play again for another week and a half because of the uh, or two weeks because of the international break. You know, they're so far clear in the in the championship. They're not going to get caught. Yeah. Um, City will rotate a bit because you know I think they just will because they obviously had played during the week. You know, he may may or may not even start with Haaland, but uh, might might start with Alvarez. But I think whatever team City puts out. You would expect them to be too strong, but I think uh, you know I think Burnley should, can give them a good game, but I, you, you can't see anything other than a home win. Yeah, totally agree. On to Sunday, uh, Sheffield United Blackman. Both teams going well in the Championship. Blackman beat them one 0 at home the other day. They did seven yeah, to ten. I mean, you think? That's... Yeah, to me, I mean, the, the, the odds the odds look a little bit short for Sheffield United, especially as. Um, you know, Blackburn, as you say, beat them recently, although it was at uh, Ewood Park. Yeah. I, I think this is a close game. I hope, again, just because there's an international break, that they both play their strongest available sides yes. because, you know, they haven't been in the cup previously, uh, even though Sheffield United got through against Spurs, having rested one or two. I think this will be a good game, big crowd. Uh, you know, I just fancy there could be a bit of an upset. I mean, Blackburn... Um, 
they 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 won. Although Sheffield United had a good win last night, came yeah. from behind to win at Sunderland. But I just think four to one Blackburn. Uh, you know, I think that's I think that's a pretty good price. Yeah, I agree. I think there'll be a few goals too. Now, Steve, my FA Cup tip. I don't know if you can remember. Was Brighton at twenty-seven to one? Surely they've got to be the Grimsby team who knocked out Southampton in the last round. Yeah, I mean, Brighton. Look, absolutely. I mean, again, there's there's no reason why. Um, to Zerbi can't play his strongest available side or, or close to it uh, because again they haven't got a league game Grimsby have, have, are on a, a decent run at the moment yeah. but you can't you'd be very if Brighton players they have been recently you can't see anything other than a comfortable home win um, you know, there'll be a lot of Grimsby fans it's a huge huge day out for them first time uh, in in you know f- some, you know, almost uh, a generation that they've reached this round in, in the competition. Yeah. So good luck to them. I think they'll have a great day out, but Brighton should get through. Yeah, and the upset of the round, Fulham upsetting Man United, no, Steve? Sadly, I, I can't see it. We just sort of got off the boil a bit. We've yeah. got uh, Polina back, thankfully. Okay. We're hoping Willian uh, is fit. He, he wasn't fit to play Arsenal. Um, look, United, we know without Casemiro, with a, possibly without Anthony, uh, you know, at home in the cup, United, you know, are going to be favourites, and I would be very surprised if uh, if it's not it's not a home win. I think it'll be close, uh, but I think that uh, United will win. Uh, last twenty two home games in all competitions, nineteen wins and three Ooh. draws, United. Okay. Yeah. So uh, save the season, but uh, oh, you never know, Steve. It just depends on the team he plays tonight. But I agree, at Old Trafford, I think you're under a hard ride. Yeah. Anyway, on to the championship where all the games are on Saturday and uh, Blackpool yeah. Coventry. Steve, I was on Coventry last week at home. I thought they beat Hull City. They drew. They cost me money in midweek when they drew again. Blackpool at home, Bloomfield Road, unbeaten in five, Steve. Can you see them causing another upset, Blackpool? Well, I think they can. I mean, they had a huge win during the week yeah. uh, against QPR, and they were 4 0 up in no time at all. Yeah. So, you know, and you say Coventry were just getting themselves into that position, just yeah. just just below the playoff places, and have, and have dropped points. So, I think Blackpool are going to be full of confidence. Wouldn't, uh, Coventry are capable of holding them, but I think yeah. of the two, you'd think Blackpool would be favourites. Yeah, Middlesbrough too good for my press at North End, boys. I think they will be. Preston had a good win during the week, but yeah. I think Middlesbrough are, are really eyeing up that, uh, you know, trying to chase down Sheffield United. They got they got caught out during the week, Middlesbrough, but I think that they will, um, I think they'll they'll get all three points. Uh, surely Millwall are going to be too good for Huddersfield Town? Yes, I mean, Huddersfield are, are trying hard, uh, but, you know, they're a little bit adrift and I think Millwall mm. should be too strong. All right, QPR Birmingham. Two teams terribly out of form. They both won last week but got beaten in midweek. Which way do you yeah. see it going? Well, I think that Gareth Ainsworth was probably you know, read the right act to QPR after that performance. Uh, you know, they evidently played quite well against Watford. I think that probably should be too strong at home um, at the weekend and I fancy QPR to win that. Yeah, Reading, Paul Ince's team, they've only won one of the last six, got beat at Blackburn last night. They started scoring, I stopped scoring goals, but their home form saved them this season, Steve. How do you see them going against Hull? Hull lost. Well, Hull, Hull you know, are not an easy team to beat. And yeah. uh, obviously they got beaten last night, you know, by, by the best team in the league. But I, I think Reading... As you say, at home, you know, that's where they're stronger and they score at home. I think Reading should just edge that. Yeah, I think goals is the way to go. On to our second page, we've got Rotherham at home to Cardiff City. Cardiff City drew one all yet last night against uh, Norwich. Rotherham lost to my Preston yeah. boys, 2-1 at home. I like Rotherham of the two teams, Steve. Do you agree? Yes, you know, but again, uh, you know, they're a little bit inconsistent. Um, I think they'd be disappointed they lost at home to Preston because you know they've been strong at home. But I think of the two, I think if there was to be a winner, I would still plump with uh, Rotherham. Yeah, totally agree. Stoke City, Norwich. I've sat on the fence here, Steve. One thing, I'm going over two and a half goals. Stoke have been scoring goals lately. I watched them uh, beat Blackburn 3-2. They drew one all at Middlesbrough. Norwich in and out. They score goals as well. So I've gone opted for goals in my bets. Of the two, yeah. you know, it's tough to call. Well, I mean, Norwich, Norwich, you think will be favourites, mm. but Stoke have just made themselves hard to beat. They've had a couple. Of, they had a big win a couple of weeks ago, as we know, at Sunderland. They yeah. beat Blackburn, 
Uh, they were three up, but obviously letting a couple of late goals, and then they uh, got a got a good draw during the week. Yeah. I, I think that uh, they're going to be hard to beat. I can see I can see Stoke holding Norwich. Yeah, but I think you're right. It could be could be uh, one of these sort of games, two two or something. Yeah, I think it'll be plenty of goals in that. Sunderland gone off the boil as well, Steve. At home against a Luton Town team who are going well. They're just behind Middlesbrough, and I think they're in fourth place. Yeah, I just can't they trust are. Sunderland at the moment. They are. They're, they're hard, hard to beat. They've had a couple of good wins yeah. in the last week, uh, Luke, by, by a goal. Uh, Sunderland really have gone off the boil. I mean, they were they were on a good run, and all of a sudden they've just started shipping goals, particularly at home as well. I think Luton will avoid... Whether Luton will win there, but I think that Luton will certainly uh, can avoid defeat. Yeah, I agree. They just never know with Sunderland. They score goals, but they've been conceded we're plenty we're of late. We're going to the punch bag, so. Yeah, shame. Just can't uh, crack it. And I think Watford... I think this is last chance saloon for your brother's team, Steve Watford. That a yeah. Good result during the week. If they don't beat Wigan, that playoff spot will yeah. be in jeopardy. But I think they're good things. They didn't things. Go to point last night. I think they're good things. Yeah, Watford. I mean, what... Yeah, I mean, we're going to make themselves hard to beat, but they're not winning games. Yeah. You know, they've had a few draws recently under Sean Maloney, but they're still, you know, they're sitting in that bottom three. Uh, Watford have to win this. You yeah. know, they had a good win during the week against Birmingham. They've got to win this because, you know, the teams <laughs> above them, though, in the in the playoff places, are, are winning as well. Yeah. So, you know, they're not, they're not closing the gap, but certainly they need to win this, and I think they will. Yeah, two or three nil. And last but not least, Sunday lunchtime, Swansea, Bristol City. There'll be goals in this. There always is with Swansea, but uh, which way do you see it going? Yeah, well, again, I mean, Swansea the other day um, had all the possession, but st you know, but still lost, and this is the story of their season. Yeah, you know, they're, they're just they're not scoring the goals when they're on top. Bristol City uh, were having a good run. Obviously, they lost. Um, last night, uh, yeah. disappointingly, uh, or the night before, to, to Luton. I, I, I think there will be goals in this, and I wouldn't be at all surprised if, of the two, I wouldn't be at all Bristol City get something there. Yeah, I think goals, that's the way we've gone, but uh, tough to call, but we're watching it on Sunday. Steve, pressure time again, you're on fire last week, who are you on this week? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm quite quite on fire this week. It's a tricky one. Yeah. I might go for Wolves as my best bet. I just think that uh, for me, they've, they've, they've certainly turned the corner. And, yeah. and although they're still a bit too close to the bottom three, I think that they'll edge that. And uh, my value bet, I'm going to go for Blackburn. I just think, you know, having beaten Sheffield United recently and, you know, four to one just seems quite generous. So yeah. you never know. It's a one-off game. Anything could happen. Yeah, I've changed course. So I uh, hummed and hard. You know, I've got to take eight to ten or more. And Spurs are eight and a half to ten this morning. So, uh, you know, yesterday I did give Southampton a chance. But after watching them last night, they were woeful. And I think Real Madrid will beat Barcelona on Sunday, Steve. 22 to ten. I know Benzema's carrying a knock, but they were cruising last night against Liverpool. And He's good. I've backed Barcelona the last couple of weeks. And they've really been, yeah. they've really been lucky. So, uh El Clasico, Real Madrid, 22 to 10. Yeah. Steve? Steve, all the best, pal. Thanks again, and uh, good luck on yeah, Sunday. Well, Are you going yeah. to the game? Yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll watch it. It's live on, on, on the box. Okay. It's, uh, it, it's annoying because, I mean, for example, I know, one of, I know a few people going, but there are no trains back because yeah. it's, uh, it's quite finishes quite late on the Sunday. Okay. So, it's, uh, you know, the timing is, is shocking. Yeah, you know, terrible. But that's... You know, but, they don't, they don't, but the TV companies don't care really about the fans, do they? No, so, no. Uh, no. You know, one of the guys is. that uh, we met over with the Sussex Arms, the rugby, Kevin Power, yeah. good mate of Dean Moody's here. He's going to the game. He's a big, big Fulham man. So he's yeah. tra he's travelling up. Of so, uh, I've, yeah. I've, I've been there. I, I've seen us lose uh, many times at Old Trafford, and and, we, and we've played them in the last sort of forty years. We played them three times away in the FA Cup, and yeah. uh, lost them all. And I and I was there for them. So maybe <laughs> if I don't go, that might bring us a bit of luck. Okay. So. Steve, okay. don't forget work out your last one standing <laughs> for next season. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for. I'm definitely ready for next season. All right, Steve. All the best. Thanks very okay. much. Take it easy. Talk, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay. Bye. PSL fixtures. Yeah, Let's just get straight into yep. it. What is the latest? Paul, uh, there were two games in midweek. I watched Sundowns win seven. I think it was Richards Bale. Was it five nil? What a what a display of finishing, Paul. They've improved. They've stepped up they again. They can play Paul. the C team. They've got uh, the league Paul. wrapped up and everything. Uh, and uh, Maruma Gallants. I was hoping it was on because Dylan Kerr's at Maruma Gallants now. I spoke to Dylan. He moves around. Yeah, yeah he's a uh, relegation battler. So the bottom of the league. They drew two two, but uh, they aren't playing this week. They're both in CAF Sundowns and Maruma Gallants. But there's two games on Friday. 
and we'll get it up now. Uh, Stellenbosch. Stellenbosch against Amazulu. Paul Amazulu can't win away from home. I think it's one win and eight. They've drawn six of them. Stellenbosch are going well, Paul. Of the two teams, I like Stellenbosch. Uh, Steve Barker's got his boys playing well. They've won three and drawn one of the last four. I like Stellenbosch of the two teams, Paul. Okay, Swallows, Arrows, much between them? <sighs> Nothing much, Paul. Arrows are good to watch, but they've been battling the win. You know, they've, only, they've lost five of the last seven. Swallows, you never know, Paul. At Dobsonville, they're hard to beat. Yeah. Only Pirates have beat them in the last six games. If I had to side with one of the teams, I'd go Swallows, but a draw a player. Sekakuna, I Chippa. like them, Paul. They don't get beat... Uh, I think there's a Polokwane where they play. Chipper, in and out, fired the manager last week, got knocked out the cup. Sekakuna for me, Paul. Nine to ten is short, especially for a PSL team. Yeah. But of the two teams, I fancy Sekakuna. All right, the next one coming up yeah, is going to the be second page. Pirates, Pirates Super Sport, Paul, a good game. Very good game. You know, I think both teams to score, I saw 13 to 10. So if I have an interest, that'll be my play. But I like Supersport. Gavin's always up for the big games. Paul, Supersport yeah. in the draw for me there. And Chiefs, they played each other in the, the Ned Bank Cup. It was a night game. And Maritzburg was a tight game. Maritzburg had a player sent off. So Chiefs ended up winning 2-0. Oh, Paul, every time I watch Chiefs, they win, but they don't seem to impress me. The yeah. teams they're playing with have a player sent off. Yeah. Chiefs in a draw for me there, Paul. And okay. uh, I like TS Galaxy at home against Richards Bay. All right, Budge, let's go and have a look at your selections, yeah, your, the, your uh, track and ball, six. Uh, score six, yeah. So I'm bankering uh, Aston Villa to beat Bournemouth. I'm going to the field in the Brentford Leicester looking for an upset. I've thrown the draw in with Tottenham at Southampton. I've gone the field in the Wolves Leicester City game. I don't see Chelsea losing at home to Everton and Man City should beat Burnley. 2-1-6. On to other Saturday soccer six. I'm going Sundowns, win and draw. I think it's in Libya they play Al Halal and Durman. I'm going Almeria. Um, Durman. <laughs> Al Durman, yeah. I'm going Alberia to de avoid defeat against Cadiz. I'm chancing Sekakuda United to beat Chippy United. I'm going Wolves, win and draw at home against Leeds United. And siding with two away sides. I'm going Super Sport, win and draw at Orlando Pirates. And Kaiser Chiefs win and draw at Harry Guala against Maritzburg United, 192. On to our score 10, I'm banking Aston Villa to beat Bournemouth, going Brentford win and draw at home against Leicester, as well as Tottenham win and draw away at Southampton. Wolverhampton Wanderers win and draw at home against Leeds United. Unfortunately, I've got a bank in Middlesbrough to beat my beloved Preston North End. On to the second page, I'm banking Millwall to beat Huddersfield Town. Going two fields in the Stoke City, Norwich City and Sunderland Newton Town matches. I don't see Chelsea losing at home to Everton and Man City should be good things against Burnley, 288. The big one. On to the soccer 13. Yeah, really difficult this week. I'm banking Chelsea to beat Everton, Tottenham to beat Southampton. Brentford to beat Leicester, going Wolves win and draw at home against Leeds United, Aston Villa to beat Bournemouth, Man City to beat Burnley, Coventry City to avoid defeat at Blackpool. Mm. On to the second page, Middlesbrough to beat Preston North End, Queen's Park Rangers to avoid defeat at home against Birmingham City, and another home team, Reading, win and draw at home against Hull City. Rotherham, I don't see losing at home against Cardiff City and signing with Norwich City to avoid defeat at Stoke City. In the last game, Sunderland win a draw against Luton, but those last five games could go either way, oh, Paul. Yeah. Really yeah. tricky. Yeah. 256. Budgie's best bets. Budgie's bets, Paul. We crack on. The first one is a premiership treble. I'm going Aston Villa to beat Bournemouth. I'm going over two and a half goals and both teams to score yes in the Brentford versus Leicester game. And I'm going over two and a half goals and both teams to score no in the Arsenal Crystal Palace so game. I think that's 3 0, 4 0, like last week, Paul. Okay. 2,800 to 200. Only, yeah, I'm going Aston Villa and Tottenham to score over one and a half goals. And I'm going Everton against Chelsea and Burnley against Man City just to score. They could get beat 3 or 4 0. Those, those last I, two are tough, but yeah, you could be I right. I think Everton will score at Chelsea, Paul. They give too many chances. Two and a half thousand to 200. On to the championship, I'm going Millwall to beat Huddersfield, Watford to beat Wigan Athletic, and over two and a half goals in the Stoke City, Norwich City, and Swansea City versus Bristol City fixtures. That's quite a 2, good one. 2,100 to 200. That's quite a good one. Uh, both teams to score sides are QPR Sunderland, Stoke City, Norwich City, Sunderland, Luton, and Swansea City, Bristol City, 2,300 to 200. PSL was dodgy, Paul, so I opted to go in Spain. I'm going Atletico Madrid to beat Valencia. 
Real Batiste to beat Mallorca, and Catafé to beat Seville. And then both teams to score in the Espanyol Real Bet That's Batiste. wrong. It's uh, the, the Espanyol game. Uh, it's uh, it's really? Salta Vigo, apologies. It's not Real Batiste. Three and a half thousand to 200. And our Carlos King, six or Nixa. I'm going Aston Villa to beat Bournemouth, Arsenal to beat Crystal Palace, Bayern Munich to beat Le Bayer Leverkusen, Fiorentina to beat Lecce, Atletico Madrid to beat Valencia, and Real Batiste to beat Mallorca. 3,400 to 200. Well played, Budge. Well played. So that's where we are. And uh, until next time, stay on side.